What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bring you guys part two for my playthrough on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. So guys, in the last episode, we started off the game, picked our starting Pokemon, which was Shuko and Mudkip, and completed some of our first rescue missions. So guys, in today's video, we're actually going to get continue on with this game. We picked up a few rescue missions from the Pelper Post Office. I got three actually all in Thunder Wave Cave, because I can complete three in one. I'll just go through Thunder Wave Cave again and complete them all, beat all the missions, get some rescue points for our team just level up from there and we potentially could be versing our first boss for this game but what i want to do right now is actually go to the calculon shop and just see what they have i always like to check up on this just see if they have any useful items for me to use in dungeons but we're over here he's got some apples and all that should i buy an apple i feel like we're good i feel like we'll be able to find one i, I feel like we're chilling here because uh Thunderwave cave isn't too too hard we already completed that but we're heading back just get just to get some rescue points but we can head to this right side of the calculon shop and this guy has tms they're pretty expensive but they're so worth it what do you got Oh my god, Dragon Claw, Hyper Beam, look at all this. I wish it could say if we can learn it or not. Acrobatics, Leech Life, ooh, they got some goodies in here. I think we're just gonna stray away here. I think we're just gonna stray away. And let me actually go down to the bank. I want to deposit some things into the bank that we're not probably gonna be using in today's dungeon rescues. Let's go here, this is Kangaskhan Storage. Let's store some items here. What do we want to put away? Um, bum, bum, bum. Actually, I kind of want a lot of this. I'll actually put away an apple. I'll put away an apple because we're definitely not going to need a... Uh, two apples or three apples i'm gonna put away this big apple as well just to keep it storage here because like i said when you die you lose all your money that you have and all the items that you were holding let's put away two orange berries as well get them out of the way orange berry what you want get out of here oh my god we have more apples actually i forgot we had two pages we had two pages so we're gonna go with that i'm gonna actually keep a petra berry just in case we get uh get like poison or something i think that's what the petra berry does let me see what's petra berry does yeah poison takes away poison okay cool cool we're gonna just gonna leave all that stuff stored there and let me actually check my missions. How can I check my missions? Gotta be this X button. Yeah, X button, status. Here's your accepted jobs. Yeah, so as you guys can see, we accepted three jobs in Thunder Wave Cave. One on the second floor, one on the third floor, and one on the fourth floor. So like I said, I can just bang all these out in one go and get a kill three birds with one stone. But now we're gonna actually, I think we have to head down here. There's two different paths. I think down this way is towards the, yeah. This is towards the dungeon. So it says, there are sparkly dungeons around the dungeon name. That's the sign you'll get a lot of stuff. Okay. The Thunder Wave Cave is sparkly as well. Oh my god, we're going to be getting some goodies. We are going to be getting some goodies in Thunder Wave Cave. Three missions, we'll get a bunch of rewards from the mission. And it is sparkly, which means like double items, double cash, and all that good stuff in here. What you want? Yo, Pidgey, what you want? Oh, the client Pidgey is with us. Okay, cool. So we got client Pidgey with us, which means in this rescue mission, this Pidgey will be helping us out. Let's get rolling. We're getting right into the good stuff this time. We're already done the, uh, the, uh, the tutorial and all that good stuff. So we're just here to level up and have some fun with it. Let's go. What you want? Dragon Breath. I got all the PP back in my moves and all that. Let's go. Double Dragon Breath up on that. Let's get out of here. I just want a little bit of extra XP. Oh, wait. Get that Pokemon money. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Extra Pokemon money. Let's go. But second floor, one of the missions are on. So it should tell us. Yeah. The message in the bottom of the right screen will tell you what's happening in the dungeon. If you want to check past messages, go to message log and others. Okay. So you arrived the floor where execute is. Okay. So, so this is who, who we have to save for the rescue mission. And you can see him on our map. He's in the top right corner. All right, well, let's collect that money. Get him, Mudkip. Oh, yes, sir. What you want? You want some of this? Oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Boop. Get Dragon Breath. You should be gone. Give me all that XP. Look at all this cash we get, though. Oh, it's like triple. We got 28, baby. Let's go. Let's keep rolling. Yo, dude, this music's too hype. This music is way too hype. Let's go, dude. I love the soundtrack. I'm not going to stop saying that throughout this whole mission. Oh, we dropped the chest. What we got here? If we bring the treasure chest back from the dungeon, it will open. Okay, give me that. Give me that treasure chest, baby. What you want, Alec kid? Yeah, we got sauce up on all these fools. Yo, leave him alone. I got to step in front so he doesn't get hit. Jeez, Pidgey. Pidgey was just taking a smacking. What you want? What you want? Get out of here. Pidgey was taking a smacking. Yeah, you got to step in front sometimes. Oh, what the heck did he just do? Oh, water gun was upgraded. Yeah, so your moves can upgrade if you use them enough, which is pretty dope. So let's, uh, what move do I actually want to get upgraded? Maybe Dragon Breath. Because you can see the little bars next to it. It says 1 with uh, levels on it. So the more you use it, the more you will level up. Why am I trying to hit this Executor? There you go. Yeah, this is who I want to have. Next, have Pitchy move next to Executor. Okay. Wait, wait. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? So Pitchy, get next to him. Okay, now let's talk to him. So, yeah, you have successfully brought Pitchy and Executor back. It's happy. Yeah, let's go. Job completed, baby. I think they'll eventually just leave. They might just fly out. Thank you so much. Shuko held up the rescue team badge. The other Pokemon gained its magical power. So yeah, our rescue team is actually gaining experience here. Let's get it. They leave the dungeon. 
There's a request beyond this point. Would you like to escape dungeon? Nah, dude. We came here to go three. Let's go. Yeah, you can pick up these stones and stuff, which are like graveler rocks. And they, you can actually throw them at other Pokemon. to do big damage. Actually, not big damage. Just a little bit. Just range damage. Okay, now we gotta save Wurmple. Get over here, Wurmple. What you want, dude? What's up, Wurmple? Yeah, we found Wurmple. Yeah, dude, there's two jobs done, baby. Two jobs. And we got a treasure chest as well. Type nice. Just type nice. I'm just trying to level up. So what these jobs actually do is they level up your rescue team so you can do bigger and better missions to progress through your game. And to actually level up, because when you get into higher stages, you're not going to be high, high enough level if you don't do enough rescue missions to actually beat those. But Wurmple left the dungeon. We do not want to leave here. Let's go, baby. Let's roll out here. Any enemies on this floor? Coming up from both sides. You just got to keep an eye on the map. What you want? Dragon Breath come through. Can I hit through that corner? I can. Oh, we just got crit, baby. What you want? We got this fool coming out of here. He's going to growl and drop her attack. That hunk of junk. Yo, what you want? Hit my mud kip. What you want, my dude? Get out of my face. Yo, you're going to get that absorb. I want some of my HP back, boy. Get out of here. That didn't take him out. This thing has a hefty amount of health. Oh, and he dropped the chest. I believe we take chest to some some guy in the Pokey Square, like in town or something. Oh, give us that. Good luck, Smudkip. Good luck stepping on that. Return our attack stage back to normal. That's the worst. When you get later in the game and you cannot find a tile to restore your stats. And they're, they're just down the whole time. You're like, come on, man. Because they will not go down unless you beat the dungeon. Or you, uh, what's it called? Or you find one of those tiles, those wonder tiles. Let's go. We gotta save our boy Sunkern. I see him on the map. Let's grab that. Give me that apple. I'm gonna take out the sleepy Poochiana. What's up, dog? What you want? Mudkip's chilling behind me. He'll be able to shoot a water gun through. Let's see. Get it, Mudkip. The only thing that stinks about uh, your partner Pokemon is they use the same move all the time, so eventually they just run out of PP early on. What you want? I'm gonna Dragon Breath that. Yeah, yeah. Get him, yo. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Seriously, it goes a long way. If you are, I didn't even say this in the beginning. Make sure you smash that like button for me and click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, it goes a long way. And if you are enjoying this Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know who enjoys this content because I'm having a great time playing this game. Tons of fun for me. Let's go. Three missions down. We're getting some levels up here. And we're getting tons of rewards from these dungeons. Would you like to exit the dungeon now? Yes. Now that we completed everything, all the rescue missions that we had to do, we're going to leave this dungeon and collect all those rewards, baby. Let's get it. But I do believe that we will actually be versing the first boss. I think so. I believe it comes up if I do remember. Oh, we got a rainbow gummy. What's this rainbow gummy done? Oh, and we got a bronze dojo ticket. We might have to show that off. The dojo tickets are actually very val valuable. They help you level up. Let's go. What's the rainbow gummy do again? I totally forget. I totally forget. I'm going to have to read the description. Let's go. Thank you for rescuing me. Yo, you know it, my dude. That is our job. Look at this. We're getting Carbos and some nice 100 Poke Dollars. Let's go. Who's the next guy? I know we did three missions. Yeah, so all these are lined up. We are just dominating these missions. What we get from you, we get a pure seed and a nice 100 Poke Dollars. Yes, sir. We're going to have to go to the bank. We got to go cash in. Little Wurmple. Yeah, I got you, Wurmple. No worries. What are you giving us? Nice little violent seed and... 100 Poke Dollars. So we got 300 Poke Dollars. Got that dojo ticket as well, which I actually might go for right now. I might go show it off. Or I might go show it off after it. So usually after you beat the missions, he's just like, yo, let's call it a night. Let's go to bed. So let's see what happens this morning. If there's not a mission for you to actually do, like a main mission, then it's usually like, okay, you gotta go do a rescue mission before you unlock it. Let's see what happens. Monkey comes in. Good morning, Trigger. Let's do our best day. Oh, and there's an e earthquake. You know something's happening. You know something's happening. Oh, it's just Diglett, yo. It's my boy Diglett. Tunnels everywhere. <laughs> boy Diglett's here. Yo, what's good, Diglett? Yo, the cutscenes are actually pretty cool. Well, these ones were are actually not too much cutscenes. So it's not too bad. I don't, well, I don't have to cut him. and kind of just chill here. See what's going on. Diglett's digging a bunch of holes around Mudkip's house. Mudkip's is not having it. <laughs> Yeah, dig over there, you little rascal. What you want? All right, peace out, Diglett. Get out of my face. Helper comes flying through. He's the mail delivery guy, so whenever he plops things into the mail, we got to go check it out. Clunk. <laughs> Let's go check it out. What you got for me, boy? What you got? Check mail. Let's check it. Welcome to the rescue team. Train at the dojo. Okay. Well, remember, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's fine. Train at the dojo. Ooh. Oh, we got two bronze tickets, so that's dope. We're actually going to go show that off now. We're going to go head to the do dojo. And see what's going on over there because i want to actually go back to the bank as well deposit some money but let's just head to the dojo and see what that's all about where's the dojo dojo should be down nope dojo's down here yeah the magohita dojo yeah let's get it baby it's the magohita dojo only through rigorous training can we become stronger dojo drills
Oh, uh, this is your first time doing dojo drills? Yeah, it is. You'll need to give me a dojo ticket if you want to try out dojo drills. The better the ticket, the more effective and the drills will be. Okay, so the better the ticket is, the more levels you can gain or more XP you can get. So it's a big boost. We have a 50 second timer. So do I have to pick who I want to go in here? Yeah, we, Trico's going to take on the grass maze. Let's do it. Do I just level up my Trico? Do I have to do my, what's called as well, my Mudkip as well? See what happens. Oh, baby, we're in here. Defeat the enemies within the time limit. Okay. That's fine. Oh my god, there's a Kabuto. There's a Kabuto. Are we gonna get smacked here? Get out of here. We're just gonna send this. We're gonna take a step forward. Oh, we just murked on him. Where's the enemies at? Oh, he's gonna withdraw. He's gonna boost his defense. What you want, my dude? The Dragon Breath's gonna be very effective here. That's gonna be a ranged weapon. We take you out. Let's go, baby. What you want? Dan, dan, dan. Dragon Breath. I know. I see another one behind it. Dragon Breath. Quick attack, yo. So it's just defeat a bunch of enemies. Oh, we didn't get the KO. Get out of my face. Core fish comes through. There we go. Quick attack again. We're going to start throwing this at the core fish over there. Come on. How many can I get here? Let's go. Let's roll out here. Our stats return to... Or our speed return to normal. Get him! Roll out here. Oh, I didn't even mean that. Go ahead, take a step up. No. Take a step. Come on. Let's get this, yo. How much XP are we going to get? I'm just going to keep throwing dragon breaths. Come on. Can I get another one off? I get him. I got him. Let's go. See how much XP we get. So I'm thinking I have to do this with my Mudkip as well. Oh, we get that level up. How many levels we get? Two levels. Yo, dude, this dojo is OP. This dojo is OP. Two levels right there? That is insane. Level eight. It's all over. Nice work. You want to keep going? Uh, yeah, I kind of want to keep going. I'd rather do it with my Mudkip now. Get him a couple levels. Let's get it. Yeah, Mudkip's going to take on the water maze. Yeah, I kind of like to have my Pokemon around the same level. So there, we'll use two of these dojo tickets. See what this is all about. Get all those levels. Dang, we got some extra. Yo! Two Armados just right next to me. They're going to smack on me. What we got here? Let's go Water Gun. Go. You, you, you dead. Yo, he's going to use Water Gun on us. What you want? Get out of my face. Yo, why they spawn us with two Armados right there? Get out of here, Fampy. Nope. Ah, buddy. Oh, he didn't die? Let's go. Another Water Gun sending at you. Anybody over here? Take a step here. What you got? All I know is Water Gun on Mudkip, so I'm just going to keep spamming this. What you want? What you want? Just do as much damage as you can. Oh, it didn't reach far enough. Only one, it only goes like three tiles. Get out of here, boy. We missed. What you want? He'll slap you up. Let's go. Let's roll. Oh, people coming down this aisle. Yo, dude, I feel like I'm doing much more work with this mud kit. Get out of here, boy. Yay. <laughs> this boy has a lot of... Oh, no. I used one with that. I didn't mean it. All right. Let's go back here. Can I get one more KO? Oh, you want the junk? I don't think we're going to get it. No, I used the wrong move. I tried angling myself. I tried angling myself with the with the Y button and then spamming it down. No, we missed it. How many levels? Three levels. Mudkip is higher level than my Trico. That's totally fine right now. We'll leave that be, and then I can eventually do a later mystery do or dojo with Trico. Now we don't want to keep going, but that was sick. You get some mean levels. I got some levels with my with my Pokemans. Now I'm gonna actually get rolling and go check out everything that's going on with the mail. What we got over here? Nothing with the mail. So we're gonna actually he have to head back and do another rescue mission. Let's go. Let's go back over here. Go check the bulletin board. Do another rescue mission. What we got over here? Go. Accept the jobs. Oh, no. Not accept the jobs. We have no accept the jobs. Let's go to the bulletin board. Tiny Woods. We got a bunch of Thunder Wave Cave if we want to do these again. We do want to do these again. We can roll through Thunder Wave Cave real quick. I think I'm just going to take... Bum, bum, bum. What are, which ones do I want to take? I might as well take them all, you know? I might as well take them all. Let's go. Let's take them all in Thunder Wave Cave. And roll out here. Let's go back over here to Thunder Wave Cave. And we're going to do Thunder Wave Cave all over again to do some more rescue missions and to start leveling up our uh, rescue team. What's over on this side? Okay, there's no dungeon over there. We're not, uh, we did not unlock that area yet. We're going to head back down here and see what's going on. We're going back into Thunder Wave Cave once again to complete some more missions to get more levels and all that and to keep progressing through the game. Thunder Wave Cave, baby. Climb mining is in here. Okay, that's fine. Do you want my keep to do the work? Oh my god, dude, this mud bomb slaps now. Give me that apple. We're just trying to get through this kind of rather quick. Just to get the mystery dungeon done and the progress through the game. We got our levels from the dojo, which is type nice. Here's Wurmple. Is Wurmple right next to us? Is he right next to us? No, Wurmple's all the way across the other way. Got a tiny reviver. See, let's go, boys. This way. Oh, no, we got hit down this way. Come on, get him, mud kip. I'm going to quick attack through it. Yeah, yeah. Get him. Yes. Dude, this game is so much fun. I am so glad I picked this up. Hands down. Hands down, dude. I'm a big fan of Mystery Dungeons, dude. It's so much fun. What we got here? Nice little Max Ether. We'll put that in a storage later. Get all these Poke Dollars. 
I'm gonna head up here. I actually see somebody over here. See if I can build him up. Nope. Oh, he's because he's down here. There he is. I was looking at my map. I miss mislooked at my map. What's up, Wurmple? Let's go. Bam, 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 bam. Job completed, baby. These jobs are easy because it's like. Because they're just like easy dungeons. When you get later in the game, it's like head to floor 43 to save the warp ball. It's just like 43? And there's like a bunch of like hard high level Pokemon. You're just like, dude, what is this game? It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Let's head through the stair right here. On to the next floor, we have somebody on 43 and 44, just like the last one. Executor. Didn't we just save you, my dude? But uh, mine didn't give that thing the weapons. Give it the weapons. There you go. How'd you miss your attack? I'm gonna squeeze through here. I can't squeeze through here. We're gonna push it to the side then. Yeah, take him out, Mining. There we go. You love to see it. Grab this apple. Get that tile. What's down here? Down here. Oh, here's the ex executor. Pokey money. And we'll talk to this egg. What you want, dude? Yeah, we found you, my dude. You got two missions done. We are just crushing the missions. We are just crushing the missions. But the only thing that's uh that's a little different about these games than rather normal Pokemon games is your evolution. The way you evolve. It's not just by levels. I think you, it's post game. I think you gotta beat the main story and all that, and then go post game and evolve your Pokemon. It's pretty crazy. So you can be like level 40 and still have a Mudkip and Trico. Okay, so where's my boy at? Mine's all the way down there, and the stairs are right here where we're at. That is focus. Let's go. Gotta go rescue these boys. What you want? Go Dragon Breath. Just start using my Absorber more as more because it's stab, and I can start leveling up. Like I said, the more times you uh use that move. You level it up and it can do more damage later. Oh, baby, my Trico just leveled up, didn't it? So now my Trico and my Mudkip are on different XP levels. So they're going to start leveling up at different times. Usually they were on the same level. We just leveled up at the same time. Yeah, dude, we're getting some mad items in this place. What you want, dude? I have to have mining next to it. Go over here, buddy. Mining, get over here. This, is this close enough? Yeah, this is close enough. Let's go. Bam, 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 bam. Hopefully this will be enough rescue missions so we can actually move on with the main story. I believe it should be. I just want you to kind of do some more level up your, your rescue team with that rescue XP. But we're level 9 now. We're just out here slapping around. Those dojo tickets are huge. I don't know if they were in the original. I really do not know if they were in the original game. Unless I just totally didn't even know it. My 6 year old self was just like, oh, I don't even know. Because you know how you play some games? We get dojo ticket as well. That's type nice. But like your younger self, like you'll play games, but you won't even know some things are there. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. My jams, dude. Sleep seed, 100 poke dollars. We take those. We take those, baby. Executor comes out here. Give me that max elixir, baby. Look at that. Save plus and mining. Let's get it. Oh, we get a perfect apple and a lucky ribbon. You can actually, like, hold lucky ribbons to actually help you do things in dungeons. It's kind of like items of Pokemon. Let's go. Time to call it some rest, Mudkip. You know the deal. Anything happening? We had an earthquake from the Diglets last time. And it's middle of the night, dude. What's going on? Oh, we're having these dreams again. So in these dreams, it's just Trico kind of like figuring out that he is not actually a Pokemon. He's actually just a person inside a Pokemon body. So like I said in the beginning, that is kind of like the whole premise of the game. What's going on? He's shaking. It's an earthquake. Oh, he's feeling an earthquake. Oh, dude. No, no, Trico. Dude, knock it off. Knock it off. No earthquakes. But yeah, so he's going to have these dreams all throughout trying to figure out who he is and all that. Next morning pops up here. Trico wakes up. Yo, dude, I love the ribbons. I love the ribbons. Uh, hello. Oh, what? Who's in here? Who is in here? Someone in the pot. I feel like someone's in the pot. You are Trico, aren't you? Yeah, dude, I'm Trico. Who was talking to us? Oh, you can't see us? Of course. How very rude of us. Brian Stuck Trio. Yo, dude, my boy. Stuck Trio comes out here. He was causing the earthquakes last night. That hunk of junk, dude. He's out here causing these earthquakes. Yeah, dude, Duck Trio cracks me up. It's literally, they were just like, what should we do for an evolution for Diglett? How about put three of them all in one? And they're like, yeah, great idea. This is an awesome idea. Bam, 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 bam. All right, let's go get rolling out. See if we have our main mission ready. Mudkip, is Mudkip chilling out here? What we got? What we got? Yeah, there's my boy Mudkip. Good morning, Trico. Where does he go for sleeping in his house? I am so confused. We tell him about Duck Trio and all that good stuff. And Duck Trio pops out back here. Our child Diglett was kidnapped in Mount Steel Summit. Oh my god, we gotta go rescue him. We gotta go rescue him. So he just tells us Diglett was kidnapped. We gotta go rescue him at Mount Steel. And this is where we are going to verse our first boss for this game. Let's get it, baby. It is time. 
It is time, baby. Do it. Do I need anything? I'm actually gonna go back to the, the city before I go in there. Cash in some of my Poke Dollars from the bank. Actually grab a few apples just to make sure I have enough items and food to do this big mission. Not big mission, but still, it's, it's, it's pretty big. It's our first boss. New dungeon going on. The best is when you get farther in the game, you have your whole list of all the dungeons that you did. If we don't need any Poke Dollars on us, I feel like we'll be chilling. Because sometimes you can find Kelkion shops inside dungeons and buy items, which is pretty dope. Right, let's store some things. Um, what do we have here? We have plenty of apples. I'm going to want to bring two apples. Yeah, I'm going to want to bring two apples. I'm going to deposit everything except for two apples. We'll bring a reviver seed. Just one reviver seed. Actually, no. Let's bring two reviver seeds. Nah, never mind. I already deposited one. I don't feel like pulling one back out. Is there a way to select multiple items? I wish there was. Let's get rid of all these max, max others. Put them in my storage, baby. Uh, orange berries are type nice to have. We'll have one max other, maybe two. Oh, uh, one it is. Uh, gravel rocks, let's get rid of an apple. I feel like we'll be chilling after that. Like we are just chilling. I feel like we'll be able to find some items inside the, the dungeon. And now we get rolling. Let's go, Mudkip. Look how fast we run in this little hub world. Let's go. Time to head to Mount Steel, baby. Save that little, that poor Diglett. Let's get it. Mount Steel. Mount Steel is now open for exploration. The whole map is sick. Let's go. Mount Seal. This is exactly where we want to go to complete this mission right here. We are actually going to be version our first boss. Ooh. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun 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 Boom, baby. Yo, dude. The jams. The jams, dude. Just bring me back memories. The peak is nine floors. Wow. Here we go. We're starting to step up our game from five floors to nine floors. Only pretty fun. Let's get it, baby. Luckily, we did use those dojo tickets to actually give us some levels. That's tight, nice. Dojo tickets are sick. Mouth seal, baby. Let's get it. Nine floors we have. Let's go. Oh, what is that? Beldum? What you want? I'm actually quick attack you. Get out of my face. That's well, not very effective. Let's hit, the, hit up this episode. Built, baby. Give me that five. Yo, my kid's gonna hit him up with a mud slap. Super effective. Dude, yo, this thing's got some HP. This thing's got some HP going on here. Mudkip just took a heap in him out. Thing's still alive now. Okay, it's dead. Thing takes some HP, but as you can tell, when you take HP, as you walk, you take, you get one HP back for health for each step you take. Let's get rolling. Bang! Let's hit that speed ski runs. Dang, dang. Uh, do I take a on yet, dude? What you want? I'm gonna send Dragon Breath your way. Not my face, little boy. Oh, we level up Dragon Breath. Let's get it. Boop. Undo a little bit more damage. Let's get it. We that Poke Dollars. Where's these stairs at, my dudes? I need the stairs. Yeah, find these stairs. I'm gonna guess down here. What you want? What you want? Dragon Breath coming through. Mudkip, throw that water gun. Nah, no boy. Big super effective damage. Wipes him out. Stairs are right here. Let's go. Nah, 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 nah. What we got? Nice little, what is this? Tiny reviver seed. I'll take that. Let's hit up this absorb. Boop. Get it, Tyrogue. What you want, dude? What you want? You coming for me? Think about muds. That a boy. That Beldum had a heaping amount of HP. That Beldum, dude. Mount Steel, baby. Dude, I love this place. This place is actually safe. Oh, he has the angle. I don't have any angle here. He's gonna meditate here. I'm gonna slide over. Mudkip will probably just take this out. Of course, once I move, then uh, I had to move back. Because he moved. But Mudkip just dominates that battle. Ooh, an orange berry. We'll take that. What we got down here? Any Poke Dollars? Yes, sir. Give me that. So you can see enemies and items on your screen, just not the paths. Pretty weird. I'm gonna slide out here. Go here. Hit that quick attack. Quick attack's only a two tile move. Water Gun should be able to bop it out. Let's go. Yeah, we dominating right here. It's weird. I believe in old game modes, both our Pokemon's hunger would go down here. I gotta line myself up with these enemies. I see them up here. What do you want? Dragon Breath. Boop. Take another step, buddy. Oh, I missed my attack. Get out of my face. He's got a helping hand him and boost his attack and special attack. So, that Tyrogue has got to go. Oh, nice angle, buddy. Nice angle, Mudkip. Oh, nice little crit, too. And we level up our quick attack. Let's get it. Head up here. I gotta see an item up at the top here. Boop. Give me that Poke Dollar. Who's next? Who wants the sauce, baby? Here's the stairs. No items here for us. We're just gonna get moving on to the third floor. Oh, stairs are right here. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. Sometimes this happens. We just get the stairs right off the bat, but I wanna head up and collect these items. Let's go up here. There's two items here. Hoping to get some extra Poke Dollars. Nice little apple. Yes, sir. Give me that apple. Oh, uh, what's Trico just step on? Oh, our moves will grow faster for a while. Nice job, Muds. I'm gonna level up my good moves. Actually, step up here. Hit up this uh, absorb. That's why I want to uh, level up is absorb. Type nice. Let's roll out. Grab this other item. What is that? It's a raw berry, right? Yeah, nice little raw berry action. 
Yes, sir. Now we can head out into the dungeon. But yeah, sometimes you just spawn right in the stairs, which is hilarious. It's actually very helpful when you're in, uh, when you're in, like, bigger battles and all that, where you just gotta get to the stairs to try to beat it when you know you're gonna die soon. Just like, yo, you're wearing the stairs, and sometimes you just spawn on it. And just type nice. Yes, sir, let's go. We level up that, uh, absorb. Wait, I don't know how many levels they go up to. But I know once you get rid of them, so, like, absorb's not gonna really mean too much when I upgrade it to, like, Giga Drain or Mega Drain. I can't wait to get, like, actual good moves, like, Leaf Blade and all that. I don't think we learned a move yet. We should be learning one soon. And up here, dude, I see three enemies just waltzing around here. What you want, my dude? Got that mug kit behind me to shoot a water gun through. But I wonder how much... Once I... Yeah, okay, so he is actually out of... No, he's not out of water guns. I was gonna say, when he stops shooting water guns, that's how I will know he's out of water guns. Yo, he hits me with a confusion. What you want, dude? Get built, yo. We super effective. Get that 11 HP back in battle, and water guns just gonna clean this one up. Let's go. Let's go right here. Mystery dungeon, baby. All right, let's grab this item. But what does this tile do? This training switch. Step on it and moves that you and your teammate will grow. Okay, so this is what Mudkip stepped on. Is it over here? Where's the stairs at? Is it over here? Oh, yes, sir. Let's go. -na -na -na. What floor are we on? What floor are we going on to? Four or five out of... What's it called? Out of nine. Pretty type nice. Let's go. What you want, fool? Absorb. Boop. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, little boy. Water gun. Takes you out. Give me these poke coins. Poke coins, poke dollars, whatever you want to call it. Dude, there's someone traveling behind us. I'm actually throw this now. Let's see if I hit him. I got him. I got him. No, it failed. Where's he at? There he is. What you want, my dude? Boop. So I got to remember before 4-9 to, uh, what's it called? To maybe give some PPs to my Mudkip and me. Some Max Ethers. Just to give our moves, uh, more. We can use more, our moves more. So I got to remember that. Hopefully, I will probably forget, to be honest with you. Okay, what you want, Mudkip? I kept saw some water guns, which is type nice. I thought he would be out by now. He's just hucking them everywhere. Every chance he gets, he's like, yo, I'm just throwing water gun. Got some gravel rocks and some worm berries. I'm getting a little bit hungry. I might just eat an apple right now. Yeah, let's eat an apple. Let's go into our toolbox. That's why we bring these apples. And you know you're going to find a couple along your way. Sometimes you don't find them. It's all about the luck. Let's go eat that. Bring your hunger back up to 70. -in -in -in. Hunger is such a pain, though. Okay, that guy, that dude's sleeping. I'm not even gonna worry about him. I'm gonna go down here, grab this item. There we go. And here are the stairs. Get in there, Mudkip. I love how Trico's like the leader. He can just push Mudkip around like, yo, get out my spot. Oh, and didn't the terrain just change? That's pretty dope. So we only have two more Dragon Breaths left. I should quick attack this one. It's not gonna be very effective, but there we go. Blood Bomb's gonna pop through. Oh, baby, who's leveling up? That me or Mudkip? It's gotta be Mudkip. Mudkip goes to 10. You wanna learn a move, buddy? Level up. I can do even better now. No move, dude? Wow, we haven't learned a move yet. Kind of man. Got a man. I'm trying to learn some moves here. Some new moves. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. I slept on a slumber tile. These things are the worst. So you eventually can just step on them. They're just random. They pop up randomly. And like it's worse when you're like in battle and you step on them, You're like, bro, you just put me to sleep for three turns. Yo, what you want, my dude? Get absorbed. Bucket takes a step back. Of course I missed. Get out of my face. Send, send an iron tail. Whoa, what is going on here? How am I missing? I missed like three attacks in a row. There we go. Iron Tail hits like a truck, but it like it misses a lot. So that's like high risk, high reward move. Bam, bam. Right, let's head down here. What we got over here? Where's the stairs at, my dudes? Stairs are not here, but I want to get these items. Oh, missing my thing. Move, Mudkip. Get out of my face. Nah, I'm kidding. I love you, Muds. Okay, so he's going to clean up this Beldum. I think he has that one in the bag. He's just dumping on him. Oh, he dropped the treasure chest. Let's go, baby. Let's head up. Get these items before we actually end off. Not end off. Move along. You want? I have to spell him right here. I actually hit him with my last dragon breath. Now I'm gonna have him step up. Yes, sir. He's gonna step up, and I'm gonna slap him with this iron tail. It's not very effective, but still, 18 damage for not very effective move. Get out of my face. Iron tail slaps up. Now we can roll out. Let's get moving, baby. Yeah. All right. So as you can see, it says PP in the bottom or in the top. Yeah, I want to go on. I'm not messing with that Geo dude. Look at that Geo dude right there. Here's this one. I have to remember to use these others and all this. Yo, he's slapping up on you. What you want? That's step forward. I have no range moves besides quick attack. Oh, water gun. Okay, now he's out of PP. So that's cool. In the older games, you would never know. You would never know if you're out of PP. You would just have to check your, your opponent or your teammate's Pokemon. Jeez, we doing some work on this thing. He's out there. He had 20 XP. So others are going to have to come up clutch after this. Oh, what is that? A pincer, baby. He boosts his attack. Yo, what you want? Iron Tail. Built 30 damage. Let me drop his defense. Tackle should be able to take out. Let's go, Mud Kipper. 
But Kipper, let's collect all these items real quick. And get rolling. Actually, let's not get rolling yet, because there's one more item I want to get. Get this absorbed. Nope, 11 damage. I actually need my Mudkip to step up here. Mudkip, step up to the plate, dude. Take a size up. There you go, my dude. Oh, he hit you with a takedown. Yo, what you want? Hit my boy like that. Take him out, Mudsy. Hit him with that Mud Bomb. No, we don't need to. But there we go. Level 10. Come on, learn to move. I would love to learn to move. All right, level up. No, move. Are you kidding me? Chico's getting hungry again. I'll eat and all that after I get these items. I have no ranged weapons. I'll slide down here just so Mudkip can be in this battle. So yeah, like positioning yourself on how to... Like positioning yourself on how you walk in and everything is so huge. Because you can get your teammate in here and do a lot more work. Let's go grab that item. Now we can hit this bounce boogie skidoodles. Let's get it. Now you down to the stairs. I'll, I'm remembering, guys. I'm remembering. I gotta give some max others out. Let's give this to... I might actually eat up an apple. Should I eat up an apple? Yeah. Let's eat up an apple real quick for Trico. Now let's give some max ethers out as well. This should restore the PP of one of your moves. Of one of your moves. I'm going to drink it. And I'm going to give it to... We'll give this one to Trico. And I'm going to give it to my range move. Because I have some PP left in like my absorb and all that. I got to give this to Mudkip's range move as well. I, I brought another one, didn't I? Or did we not find another one? Are you serious? Bruh. Bruh, that's so whack. That is so whack. Okay, that's fine. I'm not even too worried. Let's just head down to these stairs. Yeah, I, that's why I wanted to bring two. I thought I would totally be able to find an extra one in this dungeon. Here we go. Make it to the top of Mount Steel. Look, Trico, Diglett's over there. Diglett, my boy, we're here to rescue you. Hey, are you all right? We've come to rescue you. I'm scared. Oh, boy, it's Skarmory. Yo, Skarmory pops out here. Look at this dude. He's a sicko, dude. He's sick. You, what do you think you're doing here? Oh, I get it. This is why it's called Mount Steel. He's Steel, and he owns the mountain. So this is going to be our first boss we actually take on. This boss fight, I don't think it's too, too hard. I think it really depends. It actually might be super effective if you use flying moves on my Trico. But some of these boss fights get crazy hard. Crazy hard. We're at the point where they just have so much HP. They're just teeing off on you. Look at this. Let's get it, baby. What you want, my dude? What you want, Skarmory? I'm coming for you. Here we go. First boss fight. Oh, I'm going to slide over to the right here. Yeah, there we go. Put him in a position right here. I'm going to actually hit him with a nice little Dragon Breath to get started. A Water Gun. Teeing off. He's going to go for a Leer and drop her defense. That's tough news. we we'll go for another Dragon Breath. We missed. Are you serious? Get out of my face. He's going to go for a Metal Claw. Get out of my face, little boy. These things got some decent amount of HP. Keep teeing off on him. You go for a Leer, dude. My defense is poo-poo. I might take a step back. I don't know what I want to do here. He's going to do some big damage to me. If he hits me. Dude, why am I missing? I missed two of my attacks. I'm going to step back. I'm going to step back. If I can. I don't know, dude. He didn't drop me again. He's not attacking me. If he metal calls me, it's going to be some big damage. I'm kind of scared. Oh! oh my god, that is some big damage. I'm going to step back. Have him do that. He pecks him. Oh my god, we're going to have to give some orange berries up. Good thing I stepped back that turn. The orange berry is going to go over to Mudkip. Dude, he dropped our defense like crazy and doing some mad damage on us. I'm going to have to eat up this orange berry. Oh, yes. Let's go. Mudkip finishes that battle off, baby. That was, wasn't too bad, but still, he had a chance to kill us there. Like I said, luckily, I stepped back and played that one a little strategically. So he, if I didn't step back and I would have thrown that orange berry, he could have hit me next turn. And then it would just be like, bro. Jeez, man. Jeez. But he flees out. We defeat him off. And let's go, dude. Good thing I stepped back, dude. He dropped our defense, pecked us, and did like 30-some damage, which is almost all of our HP. That is insane. That's why you always got to bring orange berries, apples, all that good stuff to the dungeons before you go in there. Especially big new dungeons. You definitely want to bring stuff with you. Oh, my God. We can't save the boy. He's in the cliff. And our boy's Magnemite coming over here. Look at this. Magnemites come down. They have levitate over here, and they're going to help us out here and save this diglet for us. Look at him. Look at these boys just traveling across. Let's go. The magma, magma might save them, and we complete Mount Steel. Let's get it, baby. What do we get? So we got a nice little calcium here. What else we get? That, that was just from the treasure chest. And then we're going to get some rewards from the Doug Trio and the Diglett boys. Let's go. First boss in the bag. Let's get it. That was done. That was done. And we're level 10 already. Not bad, but I'm surprised we didn't learn a move yet. Oh, you've been rescued. Great, great. Dude, it's that Doug Trio digging underground. I hear him voices. <laughs> Look at those boys, yo. He looks angry at all times. Like, we just saved your kid, dude. We just saved your kid. Why are you so angry? Show some appreciation to us. 
Like, they look all happy. Look at his little emotions. And the, the, they just look pissed over there. <laughs> look, look at the Doug Cheerios. They don't, they don't look happy at all. Like, yo, we just saved your firstborn child, and you're gonna be mad at us. Get out of here. Hunk of junks. Hunk of junks, dude. I'm waiting for them to smile. Like, it's kind of annoying me that they're not smiling. They just have angry eyebrows. No, dude, they left. They left. Not even a thank you. We got a max ether and a heal seed. And, ooh, and the magma mites are actually paying us. Why are the magma mites paying us? Like, we just saved your kid. And you're just like, oh, thanks, man. Thanks a lot. The magma mites are, are like, I guess we have to pay you. But, yeah, thank you, magma mites. Magma mites are good dudes. Yes, we do need more members. Oh, we're going to get some new rescue members. I don't know if we get them. Did we get the magna mites? Because you can collect a bunch of different rescue members, so you, eventually you can start, like, when you kill enemies, they have, like, a small chance to join your team, and they can join your team, and you can put them away in the rescue, like, areas and all that, or you can have them up to four people on your team, which is dope. And my boy Mudkip says, yo, let's go to Pokemon Square tomorrow. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine by me, my dude. Then we have to go to bed, like, every single night. That's the most annoying part. We have to go to bed every single night. Just woke up after the morning from Mount Steel. We're going to talk to Mudkip out here. He wants to go to Pokemon Square and all that good stuff. And we tell him about the strange dreams we've been having. Because that night, we did have another one of those strange dreams where it's just like Trico like talking to himself and all that. But, but these are his little strange dreams. He will have them throughout the game, like I said earlier. But yeah, let's go to Pokemon Square. I'm sick of talking about my dreams. But Trico's starting to figure out that he, that he feels like a human inside of a Pokemon's body. Which is exactly what he is. But yeah, we gotta go to Pokemon Square, my dude. Let's get going to Wigglytuff's Camp Corner. Oh, he's just gonna take us right away. He's just gonna take us right away. No, we actually gotta go. He just took us into Times Square. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in next episode, we're going to be continuing on with this game and furthering on the main mission. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.